that it seems like that's imperative. Like that has to happen if the human civilization is going to survive because our yeah. planet is just, we're too subject to natural disasters and our own folly. And if the species is going to survive, yeah. we kind of have to escape. It's mostly about the species. I mean, uh, there've been some real doozies of like, uh, you know, massive meteors and super volcanoes and the, the continents moved all over the place and earth's been a snowball and super hot. It, it, the, if, if you read like the, geological history of earth it's like very long and complicated um so and then there have been so many extinction events not like just a few um yeah i mean the the permian extinction event that was a real rough one where it's like well over 90 percent of all species uh, died out um and that doesn't tell the whole story because a huge chunk of the remaining species were fungi and um you know, like sponges and stuff like that, you know, uh, but like if you, if, are you, a, are you a sponge? <laughs> okay. You're probably doing okay. <laughs> They're still around. <laughs> are you a mushroom? <laughs> you, do you like being in the dark and feasting on dead, dead mat, dead, dead plant and animal matter? Okay. But if you're like a human, you're screwed. Yeah. So. Well, didn't people got down to, there was just a few thousand of us at one point in time because of a super volcano, I think Indonesia I think it was only like 60, 70,000 years ago. Yeah. There, there have been a, a number of sort of Real revolutionary close. choke points. Yeah. Um, and uh, the, the last ice age must have been pretty rough, too. You know, a lot of species got wiped out then. Is that part of what motivates you? Or what, what motivates you to want to, uh, to do this and to put people on Mars and to start traveling, get people traveling through the galaxy? 